We're at the Circuit of the Americas, nestled in turn 15 of North America's only F1 track. Austin to receive the opening kick. This will find touch. Austin inching closer. Lawrence inside. Isaac Ross. Not across just yet. Back. Mason dots it down underneath the post. Austin with the try. Mac Mason, their leading scorer. A couple of phases later, and then Mason, easy as you like, no one in front. They were too worried about O'Keefe on the outside. Still opportunity for Houston, still five meters away. Muir. It's made with Barrett, Barrett, two-time Olympian, can't find it. And there it is, Cats finally across. Finally able to reward themselves, and it's fun fight. Very hard to stop the men in yellow from that distance. Van Vyck. Juan Pablo Zeiss with the carry. Cats feeling it. Advantage for Houston. Austin offside. Carry from Leota. We'll come back for the penalty against the AGs. Would you come in and push the minus for a on player. the ATL account? And Austin, they will be down now, a man for the remainder 100%. or almost the entirety of this first half as Lawrence will head to the bin for the next 10 minutes. Back Mason curls it in, and Austin extends their lead to five. AG's 10, Sabercats five. Absolute exhaustion for both sides. Isaac Ross able to bounce it up. Rocky outside. Looking. Austin, can they get across? And down. Julian Dominguez with the try for the AGs. Coming away from the danger of the sideline. Some great play. Lawrence is back on the field. And now you see him putting it through the hands. And that little spin was great from O'Keefe. He's heavily marked. He's so dangerous. And then the rest of the play, Isaac Ross off the ground, the quick hands from Mason and Baraki getting involved, nearly the whole back line, and you're not going to stop Dominguez from that far out. Great try. So AG knew what they were coming into this game expecting and what they needed to do to neutralize it. So far, so good. Austin looking to get across and dot it down. There it is. Try time, AGs, two and a half minutes into the second half, and Austin picks up right where they left off. Peterson, the Long Beach native, another AG OG, fifth year with this side. He's been here from the very beginning. Former University of Arizona man. Dodson. Ball for the AGs. In the hands of Roach. Roach looking to peel off. Across, can he dot it down? No shot. Advantage for Austin. The penalty try. Mike Lash throwing the arm up, putting the head down, and jogging to underneath the post to award seven points to Austin after a momentous effort from the forward pack. But this is danger territory. We know what happens here. McCaffrey, Cowley, back with Mason. Mason, beautiful inside ball, Dominguez with his second. This time not electing to drive, pulls out, McCaffrey feeds the backs. The inside ball to Dominguez was perfect, and the angle was equally perfect for the five-pointer. Poetry in motion here, Mason, the no-look pass. Bit they've practiced that a few times at training. Austin, Campbell with it. Now he's trying to get there quickly and not access the ball. Go on the ground. But it's going to go against Austin. Lerome White, big front row from Louisville on for the AGs. Cowley. Austin continuing to look for points. Mentioned coming into today, they lead the league a plus 92 point differential, and it is only going to grow. The try from the Sheriff, Mason Cook, dots it down. 
AG Relish have been great in the tight, but as soon as it opens up, good turn over there. Casey Vai holding onto it. Does well to win ball back. And they're just driving forward now. AG, oh, Pangeline and didn't have much hope. Had three AG jerseys in front of him. Trying to find something before the final whistle, and it's going to be a yellow card against Austin. I believe that is Casey Vi, the man who is going to be heading to the bin for the AGs. Austin still. Austin trying to find something. Oh, now and off the fingertips of Brachi. That would have been spectacular for the AGs. Not to be. It's Mike Lash blows the final whistle and Austin impressive in the victory they retain the Texas Cup AG's on top of the Sabercats 43 to 5